one of the most controversial moments in NFL history would happen. During the final play of a 1972 AFC playoff game, the Steelers quarterback threw the ball. It bounced off the helmet. And not only that, it somehow fell yep. into another player's hands. We and the Steelers scored the game. One of the craziest this play was game so touchdowns. incredible. It became forever known as the Immaculate Reception. But uh, here's the problem. Back then, once the ball left a quarterback's hands, an offensive player could not catch a pass that had been touched by another offensive player. Unless, unless a defensive, defensive player, player has touched, touched the, ball. the ball. But when you watch the tape back, it's impossible to tell if a defensive player ever actually yeah. touched the ball. So this instantly sparked outrage, with Raiders players and fans saying that that catch should not have counted. When a guy crosses a goal line, it's either a touchdown or a touchdown. Touch, they didn't call a touchdown. They didn't know if it was a touchdown. I went out. They said, get away. We don't know what happened. So now the referee leaves that huddle, and he goes over to the dugout on the Pittsburgh Steelers side, and he gets on the phone. And he makes a call to someone. And then he hangs up. Then he walks out into the middle field and says, That's That's done. Five or ten minutes later. We were in a locker room. John came in and just said, Guys, we got screwed. They call it John the Madden. immaculate reception. I call it the immaculate deception. Yeah, and mm. it's still being debated to this day. The rest of the decade, though, was all about domination because the Steelers became a dynasty, winning three Super Bowls in four years, yeah. with nine Hall of Fame players on their team. And it was unthinkable, but they weren't alone because the Dallas Cowboys won two Super Bowls and were actually so never since. <laughs> known as America's team. But nobody won like the Miami Dolphins because to this day, they're the only team in NFL history to have completed a perfect record season, going 17-0. That's it. It's over, bro. Let it go, Nicky. That's right, man. We were so close. We were so close. We lost to the Falcons, and of course, we lost in the Super Bowl. However, in 1980, the NFL was forced to prepare for his funeral. 